So if I was going through a section, like a long set of whoops and a triple, I would be like, come out of the corner, shift up one, grab the clutch, tap the rear brake, land, and then I'm done. He wins the race, throws a hat, confetti everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Malcolm Storr. Yeah, woo! It's an awesome opportunity, to be honest with you, to, to actually throw your leg over a 252 stroke and go out there and ride it because it, there's nothing like it. You can't compare it to anything until you actually ride one. And the you know, generation behind me that's coming up will, will skip it. They just go straight to the 250F and go on to the pro class. <laughs> That the whole feeling of you know, going in the corner and being on a four stroke, you know, you just go in the corner, second gear, and just kind of just take it easy and just, you know, pull yourself out. But on a two stroke, man, you actually got to have momentum and stuff like that. So what people don't understand, man, riding a two stroke, I, I give props to those guys, you know, back my brother, Reed, you know, Ricky, back in the day when they used to make those things, they, it looked like they were going faster around the track back then than they were when they were racing in the four stroke. So, now I understand why, you know, because they had to hit everything twice as hard, you know, for me to go back basically and ride one again and, and realize it, I don't think I could do 30 minutes like that, like they did. <laughs> it's tiring, man. It's tiring for sure, but it's fun. It's fun. I mean, everything about a two-stroke is cool. Just the sound of it, you can rev it to the moon. The C12 smell, that, I mean, just everybody loves that. The smell of it, and I mean, it, it's, it's cheaper too, actually. But I would like to go back to race two-stroke in pro class. If they make, if they make a class, I'll do it. <laughs> 